if hydrogen sulfide gas is passed through the colorless solution containing Zn2 plus ions, appearance of white zinc sulfide, Zns can be seen on making the solution alkaline with ammonia. The reaction between metallic zinc and the aqueous solution of copper nitrate is Zn solid plus Cu2 plus aqueous gives Zn2 plus aqueous plus Cu solid. Equation 11. In reaction 11, zinc has lost electrons to form Zn2 plus and therefore zinc is oxidized. Copper is reduced by gaining electrons from the zinc. The state of equilibrium for the reaction represented by equation 11. For this purpose, let us place a strip of metallic copper in a zinc sulfate solution. No visible reaction is noticed and attempt to detect the presence of Cu2 plus ions by passing H2S gas through the solution to produce the black color of cupric sulfide. CuS does not succeed. Cupric sulfide has such a low solubility that this is an extremely sensitive test. Yet, the amount of Cu2 plus formed cannot be detected. We thus conclude that the state of equilibrium for the reaction 11 greatly favors the products over the reactants. Electron transfers reaction now to copper metal and silver nitrate solution in water and arrange a setup. The solution develops blue color due to the formation of Cu2 plus ions on account of the reaction. Redox reaction between zinc and aqueous solution of copper nitrate occurring in a beaker. Here, Cu solid is oxidized to Cu2 plus aqueous and Ag plus aqueous is reduced to Ag solid. Equilibrium greatly favors the products Cu2 plus aqueous and Ag solid. By way of contrast, let us also compare the reaction of metallic cobalt placed in nickel sulfate solution. Redox reaction between copper and aqueous solution of silver nitrate occurring in a beaker. At equilibrium, chemical tests reveal that both Ni2 plus aqueous and CO2 plus aqueous are present at moderate concentrations. In this case, neither the reactants CO solid and Ni2 plus aqueous nor the products CO2 plus aqueous and Ni solid are greatly favored. This competition for release of electrons incidentally reminds us of the competition for release of protons among acids. Metals and their ions are listed on the basis of their tendency to release electrons just as we do in the case of acids to indicate the strength of the acids. The electron releasing tendency of the metals is in the order Zn greater than Cu greater than Ag is a simple example of metal activity series or electrochemical series. The competition for electrons between various metals helps us to design a class of cells named as galvanic cells in which the chemical reactions become the source of electrical energy.